Shabbos, in this week's Parsha and Parshas Vayetze, we get a chance and a glimpse to look at Yaakov Avinu's life. One of the most unbelievable things in Sefer Bereshis is to be introduced to all the different characters of the forefathers and our imahos. And sometimes we are introduced in ways that uh, are a little bit striking. One of the Pesukim said, tells us, Vayar Hashem kisnu'a le'a vayiftach esrachma. That Hakadosh Baruch Hu saw that Leah was snua, she was hated. This is very troubling. If anything, Leah is the only woman in the Torah that's described as snua, that she's hated, and who she hated by her husband, by Yaakov Avinu. How is that possible? What does that even mean? Yaakov Avinu could possibly hate somebody. How is that possible? So Ramban explains. The Ramban explains. Well, let's try and understand the situation. Leah tricked, tricked Yaakov. What does it mean, tricked Yaakov? The Ramban explains, not only did she trick Yaakov, but she also tricked Rachel as well. Because what? The entire plan that she did, when Lavan decided, when Lavan decided that what? He was going to switch Leah and Rachel. So Leah had a tremendous amount, as the Ramban says, a tremendous amount of kibbutz. And she respected her father and she was going to do whatever her father wished. But at the end of the day, she tricked Rachel. She, she, you know, she took advantage. And she tricked Yaakov. This is something that was really hurtful. And something that Yaakov, at the end, remember, it wasn't just one thing she walked into the room. The entire night, he only knew that it was Leah in the morning. This created, the Ramban said, a tremendous feeling of emotion by Yaakov Avinu. One to the point that he brings the Medrash, that the Medrash says that he wanted to divorce her, that he was going to divorce Leah. How is it possible? How is it possible that a woman would trick another? Where is this coming from and why? Yaakov Avinu, we know, as Chazal tells us, is an Ishemas. He's a man of truth. If you're Madaik in the Ramban, something quite beautiful. When Yaakov Avinu was Makbid, when Yaakov Avinu was bothered by what Leah did, what brought him to the feelings of divorcing his wife? It actually wasn't of whether of the fact that she was tricking him. No, no, no. The Ramban says explicitly the reason why she, he wanted to divorce her was because he tricked her sister. Nothing to do with him. His midah of emas, his midah of being true and direct, that midah didn't allow him to understand how could someone trick another person? How is it possible that a person would trick somebody? That's why the Pasa comes along and says, Vayar Hashem kisnu aleah. He saw that she was hated, and what's the response? Vayiftach es rachma. That's why he gave her a child. Because the marriage continues, after he saw that she had children. How can I divorce her? She's the mother of these beautiful children. How is it possible? The interactions are so vast and so complicated to understand. To see the passion and be driven by Emma's is without question something that we, we aspire to, to be so genuine and passionate and so real, to not be able to, how is it possible someone could trick somebody else? But on the other hand, then look at the bigger picture and look, look at the beautiful children that she had. Of course, I'm gonna to have to work together with this one. Of course, I'm gonna to have to work together with her and make it work. This is something that we learn from Yaakov Avinu, and this is something, one of the lessons that we learn from all of our imahos and our avos, and that is each one had a midah, a midah that they were so true to, that they were so genuine in, and they were so passionate about. Hashem, we should all be zeicha to have the passion in our lives as well. Good